start of a new school year is always something special. Joyful teachers, anxious students, new shoes, hair bows, the sounds of a school bus, sharpened pencils, and brand new crayons and notebooks. It seems on that first day of school, anything is possible, and it is. Our homework this year as a district was to make our strategic plan, Vision 2020, come alive in classrooms across JCPS. More than 160 JCPS employees attended our collective voices sessions. And when you see these stickers in classrooms or schools across the district, you know that someone has witnessed Vision 2020 in action. And it was my goal to actively engage hosting expanded cabinet and listen and learn sessions at our schools. And I went on area visits with each assistant superintendent. We even hosted a visit from the U.S. Secretary of Education. And what did I see at every school? Signs that our strategic plan is taking root. We focus on the acronym LIFT, which stands for Learn, Invest, Friend, and Teach. Even our Superintendent's Advisory Council worked on passion projects to engage our community in meaningful ways. In JCPS Innovation and Play Day, from permission to play day to project-based learning opportunities, it was rewarding to see the strategic plan jump off the page and take life in our classrooms. This school year, we have a lot to celebrate as we move this district further toward meeting the goals set out in Vision 2020. In academics, we focused on the Cradle to Career Pipeline, a collaborative community commitment. Being a part of this program has offered me so many opportunities. And we've made advancements along every step of the journey by partnering with the city and the business community. JCPS topped the 80% graduation rate for the first time in the district's history. In our K-PREP results, student achievement was up across the board. We had more proficient and distinguished students than ever before, and we had fewer students drop out. We had 26 schools honored as distinguished schools, and many of our schools were some of the top scorers in the state. In the past five years, we've doubled college and career readiness. U.S. News & World Report also named six JCPS schools as best public high schools in Kentucky, and Schaffner was named a Blue Ribbon School. The Bellarmine Literacy Project is helping us meet our third grade reading pledge. We expanded the program this year, serving more students at even more schools. The big J, look at you go, girl, high five. Yeah. Right. And for the first time, JCPS topped the state average in kindergarten readiness, thanks to our early childhood intervention efforts and our summer kindergarten camps. Plus, we have two exciting opportunities on our horizon. First is the district's Deeper Learning Symposium to showcase the instructional expertise of JCPS teachers and national peers. And we'll soon be launching our Talent Development Academies, which will help prepare our students for jobs of the future. We're at the Iroquois Amphitheater. This actually made us a better person in general because it helped us, you know, finish a project and showed our hard work ethic. On a larger scale, JCPS has been actively engaged in helping transform the state accountability system. And when our students have needed it, we've provided additional supports through ECE or trauma-informed care. We also now have 23 schools participating in our Compassionate Schools Project, where students learn to help focus and regulate behavior. We revised our Student Behavior Supports and Intervention Handbook to clearly outline the expectations for students, teachers, and administrators. We conducted infant and campus data entry training for administrators and continued our work to implement restorative practices and positive behavior intervention systems with fidelity. Finally, we revamped our principals meetings to make the content more relevant and engaging for our school-based administrators. Eight JCPS schools received diagnostic reviews this year, and all eight principals were determined to have capacity to lead the turnaround efforts at their schools. And this comes just shortly after KDE determined our district had the capacity to turn around its priority schools. And a special congratulations to Valley High School, the third JCPS school to exit priority status, following in the footsteps of Wagner and Fern Creek. The district hosted its first ever Priority Teacher Institute, utilizing the expertise of local master teachers and principals. And NISL training, a nationally research-based leadership opportunity, continued for school principals. 
Diversity, Equity, and Poverty presented an updated equity scorecard and helped facilitate a joint board meeting between the Louisville Urban League, JCPS, and 55,000 Degrees. DEP worked to increase minority participation in AP and gifted and talented programs. DEP also held community meetings to get input for a proposed JCPS Males of Color Academy. It launched a speaker series featuring national and local experts to help engage the community and families. This school year also saw DEP host its Equity Institute and expand professional development trainings for cultural competency and increased enrollment in the Minnesots and coding programs. DEP also actively engaged our parents through the 15th District PTA and our clothing assistance program helped provide clothing and uniforms for our most vulnerable students. All of these accomplishments helped earn Dr. John Marshall the honor of being named a leader to learn from by Education Week. We can have students from all different walks come together and talk about books and talk about things that you might not have time to talk about in class. Our data division engaged with families by sending letters to 88,000 families regarding their students' attendance, behavior, and academic performance. Data turned into action with the creation of a new data dashboard to monitor behavior and attendance across the district. Plus, the division worked cross-departmentally to engage families who had not engaged in school choice before by targeting zip codes with the enrollment bus and digital marketing. And this year during enrollment, the online predictability tool gave JCPS families information about their likelihood of cluster school placement. Welcome to Norton Commons Elementary School. In operations, we celebrated the opening of the new Norton Commons Elementary School, the district's first new school since 2008. Operations implemented $60 million in district-wide improvement projects and opened the new 313 helpline to help streamline communication with the district and be more responsive to stakeholders seeking information. The divisions also worked collaboratively to reduce bus routes by 73% and provide bonuses and escrow options to bus drivers in order to increase retention and reduce absenteeism. In Finance HR, this year we unveiled a new budgeting process that is more cohesive and collaborative. The restructure of HR is complete and a new application system has been rolled out across the district. We've reinstituted the screening process to help add qualified administrators to the leadership pipeline and streamline the process for employee discipline. This year saw a legislative session packed with several bills with significant impact on JCPS. During the session, we were able to strengthen relationships with legislators and host numerous school visits. Through information, advocacy, and legislative relationships, the district was able to successfully engage stakeholders and provide accurate impact information about a bill that would have effectively dismantled the district's student assignment plan. We were able to work with legislators to try to impact charter schools legislation to protect the interests of students and taxpayers. And in communications, the division launched a new employee intranet, a new app to improve internal communications, and a new Fast Five to provide important information to employees in a quick and easy to understand manner. Today is Mayor's Giving Day. As you can see in the classroom or through civic engagement opportunities like Mayor's Give a Day, We Day, and Lead to Feed, Vision 2020 is alive in JCPS, and our students are at the center of it all, right where they should be. To all of our students, teachers, administrators, and staff who have planned, persevered, believed, dreamed, beat the odds, broken barriers, and helped others, thank you. You made history this school year. We are JCPS.